Hello and welcome back to Tessa's Wild. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Colin. Welcome. Please consider liking and subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It truly means the world to me. One quick reminder, there's a comment pinned below with timestamps so you can hop through the video and view the portions most relevant to you. Today, I wanted to go over how I made a DIY wireless charger for my Tesla Model 3. When I made this DIY charger, I had had the car for maybe two weeks. It was long before I created my YouTube channel. So unfortunately, I'm not going to show you exactly step-by-step uh, step putting it together, but I will show you every component, and I will link in the description below a post that I made on Tesla Motors Club about exactly how I created it, all the dimensions, everything like that. This was made way back when wireless chargers for the Tesla Model 3 were new and were pretty darn expensive, so I wanted a cheaper alternative that, uh, that I could do myself. I've always worked on my cars, and I've always wanted to find little DIY projects, and there's not much of that you can do on a Tesla. So this was an opportunity that I saw. It was also an opportunity to save some money. I think in total the cost of the materials came out to be about $40 um, and I'll show you where to get all of those and that sort of stuff. So if this sounds interesting to you, make sure you stay tuned and we'll get into how I created my own DIY wireless phone charger for the Tesla Model 3. All right, so the first thing that I want to go over is the materials list for this little project. There's not a lot and you can get most of it on Amazon or at your local craft shop like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, anything like that. There are two things that you will definitely need to get on Amazon. Everything else can be sourced directly in person from your local craft shop. The first thing that you're going to need is two 11 by 16 16 foam pads from your local craft shop. They're super cheap. I think they're like a dollar each. It just so happens that two of these foam pads stuck together is the perfect width to become flush with the wireless charging pads themselves. The next things that you'll need is whatever you want, a kind of uh, leather or decorative cover for this wireless charger. So I bought another 11 by 16 brown leather cloth from my local craft store. This was around $7. They're very cheap and they're easy, easy to replace. The next thing that you're going to need is a roll of double-sided tape. This can be attained for like $3 to $4 at basically anywhere. The next thing that you're going to need is two wireless charging fast pads from Amazon. So yeah, like I said, these are the only two things that you're going to need from Amazon specifically. Everything in total is about $42 to $45. All you're going to need is a ruler just so you can measure some things out. And as I said before, there's a link in the description for how to exactly put this together. All right, so I'm sure that some of you have seen this in my videos, but it just looks like this brown pad of leather down here. I thought that color ended up going the best with the interior. It kind of accents everything around it. So let's get this all opened up here so you can see inside. If any of you don't know, you can pop this little edge off right here by just clicking to the left and pulling outwards. That is how you remove that, but I'm sure you all know that by now. Anyways, so here is the wireless charging pad. It's getting a little bit dirty here from over time. My phone has a leather case and it's got some pretty strong patina on it, which is actually wearing off onto this leather pad right here. The leather pad, I just cut to shape on the shape of this dock, this phone dock as they call it. I do only have it secured by double-sided tape in the upper right and the upper left corners. It is not secured down here, but that's okay because the phone keeps it pinned along with this cover uh, keeps it in place just fine. I've never had any problems with it coming up. So let's peel this back and view the underside here. We have two foam pads that I picked up from Michaels as well. They just so happen to be the perfect width for these energy pad fast key chargers. I ended up just kind of freehanding a design and hoping that it would work and it ended up working just perfectly. So as I said in the description below, I have a post on Tesla Motor Club that walks you through exactly how to make this. But everything is just secured to this bottom dock with double-sided tape as well as the leather to here. But yeah, it is a very cheap, effective solution if you want to DIY something inside of your Tesla and not pay over $100 for certain wireless chargers, although they are coming down in price substantially. So, so that is the DIY wireless phone charger that I made in my Tesla Model 3 to replace the wired system that's already in there. So now I just want to show you guys that it actually works. So let's get this put back together. Okay, so when I place my phone in the right position here, 
we can see that it starts charging on the left side and then we can move it over to the right side as well and we can see that both sides charge. It is fast charging. It's not the fastest wireless charging that I've seen, but for my needs, this works just fine. And it was a really fun, cheap solution that I was able to make myself. So if this is something that you wanna do, then make sure you check out the link in the description below so you can walk through exactly how I made this and let me know if you end up doing that. So that's about all I have to say about this. So let's get the camera turned around and get this video closed out. All right, so there we have it. That is the DIY wireless phone charger that I made for my Tesla Model 3. I think it looks okay. It's not the most amazing looking thing ever, but I'm happy with it and I'm proud that I was able to make it myself. All right, anyways, no, I was happy to make this. It was a lot of fun. And like I said, I made it back in uh, basically November of 2018 when wireless chargers for the Tesla Model 3 were just coming out and they were like $120, $130 plus. So I was looking to save some money and I was also looking to do some sort of work on my car. I came from a world where I was constantly upgrading my, my Volkswagen GTI with turbos and tunes and exhaust and intakes and all sorts of things. And you go to a Tesla and there's not a lot of that that you can do. So this was just an effort to allow myself to kind of customize something in my vehicle. So I'm really happy with how it came out. It works pretty darn well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like and subscribe button down below. It does truly mean the world to me and it's so, so important. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I've got a lot of new content coming your way, so make sure you stay tuned, and we'll see you next video.